or vinaigrette, and what oil do you love? Well, there's countless amount of vinegar, but most important, the first thing you want about a vinegar is a wine vinegar. Uh, distilled vinegar is uh, is used very little in the kitchen and uh, is more of a cleaning product than uh, than a, a food uh, item. And apple cider vinegar too. Apple cider is fine. Oh, okay. It's fine, but limit limited in some of the uses. But uh, so you want red, a wine or a champagne? Red wine vinegar, white or red. Okay. Uh, of course, all the to all the way to balsamic, uh, balsamic vinegar, which could be also sometimes too sweet, and they can be cut with other vinegar. But what I really want to talk about is actually the composition of a salad and uh, uh, maybe just the, the basic four taste sensations, sweet, salty, uh, bitter, and sour. And this is uh, what, if we can manage to make just about every dish and incorporate all those four taste sensations in it, we'd have something close to bliss, actually, uh, and something wonderful. Um, and the salad that I'm doing here, all I have is again a little bit of red wine vinegar, a good uh, extra virgin olive oil, okay. um, and uh, uh, then I am going to add into it a little bit so we have the, the acidity in the vinegar. We have, of course, salt and pepper in it, so the saltiness into it. The uh, sugar, the sweetness uh, that we're going to add into the salad here is comes from a pear, and you can use either a pear or an apple and shred the, shred the pear on the mandolin while you uh, mix it. So the pear is going to be cut real small so it doesn't really interfere with the salad. Now if you don't have a mandolin, what do you suggest we shred that with? Uh, Can you use a probably a, a cheese shredder or it might not be as pretty, but uh, it would work. Or maybe even a little work. food processor, a mini prep or something, could you do that? Or is that, does that make it too watery? Uh, yeah, we don't. Well, no, actually, you could also just squeeze mm -hmm. a, a little bit of apple juice. I'm very much against putting sugar in dishes. Whenever you want to use sweetness in something, uh, use either fruit or actually dried fruit is usually what I would use for cooking item. But in a, in a, uh, in a dressing, yeah, we could put a little bit of uh, uh, apple juice or something like that. But uh, also, I'm also using for texture some uh, walnuts that were caramelized with sugar and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Can you give us a quick tip on caramelizing walnuts? Do you do it with butter or do you do it with just sugar? No, just sugar and water. Okay. And, uh, what kind uh, of sugar? Just plain regular sugar. And if you put a little bit of sugar in a pot with a little water, I add a pinch of cayenne for kick here nice. for the nut. And, uh, just when a you drop of water, right? Just a teeny tiny bit. No, pinch. actually, just about the uh, uh, same amount. So you would like really? what is called a simple syrup. Right. And if you were to cook it down by itself, uh, it probably would turn to a caramel. But That's as my soon as problem. it. I'm not using enough water. Yet. No, but at, as soon as you put the nuts in it, uh, then the sugar will, instead of getting to the caramel stage, the sugar will crystallize, and you see. The nuts then are They're all beautiful. coated, in, uh, each, each nut is coated with sugar, and pretty much like one of those uh, candied peanuts with mm -hmm. sugar, except I did those with walnuts and it has a little cayenne into it. Okay. And uh, Pascal, just to go back to the sweet for a second, do you ever use honey or do you just prefer Yes, honey, agave, agave nectar also, a wonderful item to use in food. Um, and also what I'm going to finish the, uh, the salad with is a little bit of blue cheese, and the blue cheese of course being... 45% fat, and fat is wonderful in food, uh, will add that full, see the vinegar is very you, you know, acidic and make you like uh, uh, narrow your mouth and try to keep it in Upper. a small area, mm -hmm. exactly, rather than uh, uh, the fat, the best example is ice cream, just fills oh. the mouth completely and gives that wonderful feeling. Uh, and this you is don't here. have vinegar ice cream very often. No. No. No, that wouldn't work too well. No. But I love the fact that you've incorporated the sweet, the salty, the savory, the the um, sour. Right. And and, ha and and again, tell us the parts. It's one part vinegar. One part vinegar, two to three part oil, okay. uh, a good quality extra virgin olive oil, a pinch of salt, pepper. I also put a touch of garlic and a touch of shallot in this. How are you preparing the garlic? I actually grated it with a microplane, real okay. fine, so okay. nobody really chews on a big chunk of garlic and uh, leaves the table later on remembering the, the dressing. It should really, you should eat it at that moment and be done with it. Okay, and how much garlic? Uh, probably like a quarter of a clove shredded, and again, it depends how much uh, you're cooking for. Okay. 